Hi everybody. Um, I was directed to this uh, photograph. Um, actually, there's another one I was wanting to discuss too, but the uh, reason that um, it, it, it was from another video that someone made an analysis on. And this is a photograph because um, the reason I took it in center is the because uh, I'm into old vintage photographs, um, you know, back in from way back like in the 1800s and all, um, uh, um, from different types of uh, photo processes and things like that. Because I'm a gra also a graphic designer and uh, I just take interest in things like this, you know, in history and art and and what have you. But uh, the main thing for this video is that um, it kind of sparked my interest because the person that did the video, that did the analysis for this photograph, uh, thought it was shocking by the the um, the image itself, the uh, the person in in the photograph. Uh, is to the resemblance of a person, a famous person, uh, that it just looks so much like with the features and everything. And their idea of it was thinking, could there be, well, I'm not going to get into like conspiracy kind of things uh, because I'm not that much of a conspiracy type person. Uh, I know it might be possibly a you know, there's a lot of things that are possibility, um, but I just don't, you know, look at the, the conspiracy side of it too much, if you know what I mean. And, but anyway, can you guess, just by looking at the photograph, uh, what, you know, who it may uh, look like? Because... Uh, uh, when I uh, saw this and then compared the picture, I thought, you know, it's, it's really kind of strange, you know, I was so about pretty much say freaky of how it, the, that person really looked in this old photograph. And this photograph uh, is sold, was sold on eBay, but that this has ended, this sale has ended. And it's, it was an 1860 Ambrotype. Uh, which means that it was the image was etched on glass, so that the images that were done at that time, so they could uh, be preserved for a very long time, because uh, glass um, will will last a long time unless it's not broken. You know, um, I mean, nothing is um, you know invincible. You know, eventually, but uh, uh, at that time they um, preserve things what they had with and uh, which is like usually glass and there were some old um, photographs that they used like in uh, metal uh, tin types and things like that to preserve their uh, their memories on but anyway have you have you uh, guessed so far uh, uh, after me <laughs> after me talking Okay, now if you guessed John Travolta, you're right. I had a picture here. Uh, I mean, hold on a second. So here's John Travolta. I think this is about closest um, of his photographs that would uh, show the features a lot better in this photograph that look close much closely like him if you could see like the the nose the nose just looks like it almost alike you know and the eyes I mean look at the eyes here and, and the mouth and the and the chin you know I mean wouldn't you think that's kind of freaky <laughs> um, yeah I just thought I'd uh, show you show you all this um, and there's something else I wanted to show you too uh, it also, there was also an article about it. Uh, let me let me go look for that. Hold on. 
Yeah, before I looked that up, the other uh, photograph, um, this was mentioned, uh, the owner of the, the photograph, the amber type, and he said that eBay continues to remove the listing because of listing issues. <clears throat> and uh, I've been, uh, he says, I've been, uh, it's been interesting for years that I've um, unable to uh, part with this. And when you look at it into the eyes of the sitter, you will see what I mean. I believe that this is a photograph of a very young, f famous Scientologist taken around 1860. And I mean in the year 1860. This is a ruby glass ambrotype photograph and it is one of a kind. It hasn't been changed, tampered with, or altered in any way. And it is clear and is as nice as the day it was taken roughly 151 years ago. And I know you, you are saying how can you be in 2011 and not be 151 years old? For those of you who don't know this famous Scientologist or other Scientologists believe in the type of reincarnation, of course time travel can't be ruled out as well. And this photograph is from the approximate 1860 and the young man uh, looks to be around 18 to 20 years old. Unfortunately the youngest uh, photographs available to the public of the comparison are about uh, 5 to 8 years older than he and it and then he is in the photograph. The photograph is uh, one sixth of the plate uh, embryo type that is housed in full case. The repair case has again come apart and I could use some tape. And this uh, thing that I can always find striking about the photograph is from the identical eyes, the hairline and I said the nose, and the most importantly the unique uh, trademark chin. And remember that the uh, antique photograph that you're looking at is taken in 18, 1860 and the sitter is wearing a period hairstyle as well as the clothing. And uh, he also found it difficult uh, to photograph and it looked much better in person. Um, Everyone who looks at it t tells that person that uh, the more they look at it, the more it freaks them out. And I thought it looked kind of freaky myself. <laughs> and uh, one uh, extremely cool, rare, and one kind of a uh, amber type made in 1860 to 1870. Uh, what an amazing conversation piece. What something that nobody else has ever possibly ever had do you want something one of a kind and this is something out, out of this world and touched by the spirit of the supreme being here it is people and so on and so forth um, it says if you had contact or information but like I said this sale is over with so I don't know if the, uh, somebody bought it or he withdrew it I don't know it says that he has uh, been a long time collector of old photographs and and usually he collects post-mortem after death photographs of children and adults and uh, you know uh, I have over a hundred Ambro type uh, Jezero type I have a difficult time of um, pronouncing that and ten type photographs in my collection besides this interesting photograph and okay I'm gonna go find that other photograph real quick and uh, yeah that was on eBay and they sold it for fifty thousand dollars okay <laughs> all right I'll be right well I couldn't find the uh, original uh, photograph I mean the larger photograph like I did the the John Tra Travolta clone kind of thing. Um, uh, getting into the part where I did find the original video, they were getting into stuff like uh, possibly were some of these actors cloned from uh, unknown um, sources because these the photographs didn't have any names of who these people were. 
um, claims that it was during the time of the Civil War um, that these uh, pictures were taken, like in the case of the John Travolta one, um, or the, the guy that looked like John Travolta. Uh, he had no name, and uh, the uh, history on it claimed that it um, that he was a prisoner of war uh, in the South at the t at the time. And so that that's very interesting. And you often wonder, and it makes you think too, uh, if it's po uh, quite possible that uh, some very interesting things during the Civil War, you know, happened at that time, and and still the Illuminati was, um, you know, doing their thing at that time, uh, and w w that surrounded the, oh, well, the, the thing about Abraham Lincoln's assassination. And um, that's an interesting conspiracy about his assassination, how that went about, and um, where the United States was headed then, uh, right after his assassination. But I didn't mean to get off topic. Uh, but this here, uh, you know, whether it's they're clones or whatever they are, it's interesting to just look, compare, you know, these old photographs to the to the modern day. A famous person, and uh, but anyway, this title uh, article is Nicholas Cage. I'm not a, a vampire, but is he something else? Uh, is my question. But if you see here the the photograph here, um, I uh, enlarge it just a little bit uh, of the photograph excuse me, the photograph here and here. See the features look so much, you know, like it. It's it's just it's just very you know it's mind boggling <laughs> I have to say. Uh but I'll leave the link to this article so that you all can read it because I'm running close to the end of the end of this video here. And I just thought I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, I mean, the reason I made this video in the first place is to, well, like I said, I had, you know, from the beginning, I had an interest in these old photographs. And when this came up in the news, I thought this is something, to, you know, to investigate. And is it just something just to keep us all entertained? Uh, you know, I don't know. It, or is there something more uh, behind this, more sinister, uh, more than what, you know, uh, what world we live in? Uh, just some very strange things that, that happen n nowadays anyway. And I just don't want to show you guys that. Uh, I think there was one more photograph I wanted to show you. There's a video on this page anyway, if you want to listen to the rest of the interview or what he has to say and uh, I'll show you other photograph. Now this photograph just in case you know in the future this ever comes up now this guy has an interesting face okay this was an 1860 photograph era photograph as well and uh, if it's somebody that you know that looks like this person <laughs> You know, as could it, could it be a politician? I don't think it looks like an actor. He doesn't have that kind of a face. But it, could it be a politician, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. But I just thought maybe I'd show that, too, just to end the video. And so I'll leave the links at the bottom. Uh, just uh, just the rest of the show that it's, it's a case that it's in. It's pretty, pretty gold uh, surrounding it, encasing it and the box also they had some really nice stuff you know back in the old days uh, very, very fanciful stuff um, yeah I, I like some of the old stuff and there's the case again front and back yeah so who's this guy we never know do we oh well I'm coming to the end so y'all take care God bless Jesus loves you and so do I. Until next time, bye-bye now.